Welcome to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Dark Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fussington. And this is part 5 of Artorius of the Abyss, in which I, the rather magnificent Lord Fussington, will defeat Black Dragon Kalamit. So the first thing we want to do is go see... Actually, you don't have to go see Gao first. You can go straight to Black Dragon Kalamit, but I didn't so I kept this part in just to show you that I opened the door with the crest key which is absurd but I did that anyway so you go over here this is where uh, Hawkeye Gao is and it might be Go but I'm pretty sure it's Gao I don't think it's Gao because GH is probably silent so I'm going to say Gao if it's wrong I don't care so you use the crest key and uh, you can go talk to Gao he doesn't really you can buy stuff from him oh yeah I also bought some stuff and um He'll help you only after you've went to meet Calamite, who is the Black Dragon. It's Black Dragon Calamite. It's in the title of the video. That's also his name. So you can purchase some stuff. Dung Pie, Homer Bone, Prism Stone, Hello Carving, Thank You Carving, really great stuff there. And um, you can buy some arrows. So if I go to the right, you can buy that. There are some arrows. You can chat with him. Anyway, people know all about this. Um, what else would I want to say? Not very much about uh, Gao. We will kill him at the end of the, vid uh, the video. I almost said the almost said something else there. At the end of the video, uh, we will kill him. After you kill Kalamit, actually, he'll give you the he'll give you his his great bow, which you can see on the side there. And then you can kill him for his armor. So I'm still talking to him. I don't know why I'm I'm here. This is not really a important part. Um, the second meeting, or the first for those of you who are actually a little bit brighter, or just a bit better organized. So here's the here's the bow. We can't take it yet. We'll take it later, and it's much smaller. But, you know, not complaining, I guess. Okay. So now we're leaving this area, and we're going to uh, meet Calamite for the first time. I really hate saying that. Meet Calamite, it just annoys me. It's no end. But there are very few ways to... There was an item here, by the way, which I took in a previous video. Oh, by the way, if you don't have to crest key, um, there's this video by... Uh, Oh, what's his name? Um, uh, Lord, Lord something or other. And uh, he he's made a, quite a few new videos, and uh, there's one that's called like Part Four of Artorius of the Abyss. And there he gets the crest key. He's a bit of a tit, but he means well. So you can check that out, and, or you can just look online. Well, the video's online, so. Or, but you, you know what I meant, you could look at the wiki.page page or whatever, and on the wiki.page page it'll explain how to get the crest key if you don't want to give um, <laughs> this tit of view. Um, uh, anyway, it's not a big deal. It's not, you know, maybe he doesn't, he doesn't need the views. He desperately needs the views. We're killing dogs now. The dogs dodge things. They're really annoying, actually. By the way, um, with the dragon I used uh, a shield and sword strategy rather than just dodging everything. You want a 100% physical reduction shield. So, and with, with that has good stability, obviously. This dog is actually the most difficult dog in the game. I found that dog more difficult um, than most of the bosses. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, he's just he's just a really difficult dog. He's probably the the leader. I don't know why I'm talking about this. So here's we're gonna get a flash of oh there he is. So now he's in the air, which is really difficult to fight him because we don't have wings. 
So we're going... I don't know if you can just leave now and then go talk to Gao. I decided to get killed. Which... I don't know if it's necessary, but... I took the death. And... Uh, it was a little bit pathetic, but... So... So where the fuck is he? So just walk in the center. You know, you can read uh, the orange writing on the ground. Oh, and there he is. So he swoops in, breathing fire. You may survive it, you might die. I died. Or if you block it, you might survive, actually. Or possibly not, I have no idea, I didn't block. Okay. Now we can go see Gao and he'll help us. Basically what he does, spoiler alert, basically what he does is, um, God, that was stupid, is grab his bow, fire an arrow, and clip uh, Calamite's wings. He does this and he's blind. I mean, I can barely... I can't hit anything. I've got... No, that's not true. I've got great aim. I mean, I've proven that time and time again in every video. That I am very accurate. Uh, but it's a fantastic scene, actually. He's got... Uh, well, I mean, the creators made him have a really great aim. You know, I mean, if they didn't, then he probably wouldn't have great aim, would he? So... Hmm. So whatever. So he'll help us. I don't know why he doesn't just come with me and help me kill the dragon. I think he's a lazy shit. But we'll kill him later and get his armor and his bow. Mind you, everything is a lot larger on him than it is on me, so for some reason it also shrinks. Which is... Well, you know, I guess this game isn't meant to be terribly realistic. There are dragons and giants, so... Realism wasn't really... part of its creation. It is a fantasy. Anyway, why am I talking about this? So there he is, lumbering up. So now he's not looking across because he can't actually see, but he just knows. I could have done that. Yeah. I could have done that. I just didn't have his bow at the time. That's that was the only thing stopping me. Probably, it wouldn't have been scripted. You know, he wouldn't have actually flown in the air at that point, where I could have used the bow. There wouldn't have been that sort of cinematic because the game is, is scripted. So, under a certain action, anyway. But if it was, then. Obviously, I would have killed it, but that would be obvious, wouldn't it? If it is scripted that I would, then it would happen. Well, I'm glad I really thought of that. I'm sure it was interesting as well. This is Marvelous Chester. We're going to kill him. Um, this is a really cheap way to do it with pyromancy, but then again, I can't be bothered to do it properly. Uh, actually, it's not like pyromancy is proper, it's just cheap, you know. Uh, just if you're going to fight him. I just want his stuff, okay? And he drops that stuff. And then... Um, oh yeah, you just want to stay away from him. I mean, by stay away, I mean stay close to him. Because staying... Well, which is the opposite. So you want to stay near him. Uh, because at range, he can actually do a, an impressive amount of damage. So you don't want to get too far away. And that's why I wasn't too far away. What a great explanation. This is a fantastic walkthrough. I'm really doing well in this video. Don't worry, there'll be some there'll be some information. These are dogs, I kick it in the face, and then I slash it. How's that? Pro tip. Kick the dog in the face and then slash. <sighs> Here's another dog. No kick in the face there, because I just didn't need to do it. Oh by the way, now that we've uh now that he's grounded, because basically Gao's grounded the dragon. The dragon doesn't really, well, doesn't fly properly anymore. 
So, and now there's this this uh, fog gate. Uh, you'll notice that when I come back, I'll have more Estus flasks. Basically, there were between me walking in the first time around with nine Estus flasks, and this uh, time round where there were ten, there were eight other attempts in which I died. Eight other attempts, and I died in them in each attempt. Those eight, so I died eight times, and <laughs> this is the ninth attempt where I win. Three of those previous attempts I cut off the tail. In this attempt I did not. I'll talk more about the tail at certain points. Um, this is a... That would have been an opportunity to get the tail if he had smashed his tail onto the ground. Okay, so when he does that and you're close to his head you can roll forward and attack. Um, the stomping, the stomping gave me a lot of trouble for most of the other attempts. I spent about six attempts just trying to get the tail, and then I started doing things properly. Um, the best way to deal with the stomping, and he only stomps if you get beneath him, um, and you stay there for a while, is just to get on his side. Like, get beside him, which would be on his, anyway. Um, if you, in this video, you'll notice how I'm sort of, at some points I'm kind of just always strafing to his left. That's because I'm trying to force him to do that sort of move. And then he'll do another one right after and then he'll give me a free hit and we'll see that happen a couple of times. When he gets on his hind legs, he has two moves where he gets on his hind legs. Um, there was that one where he breathes fire or magic onto the ground. So there's that one, right? And that gives you a free attack if you're close enough. And the other one is his telekinesis. And he didn't do it there either. This is also, and when he gets on his hind legs, it's also a good opportunity to try to make your way to his tail. Okay? It's, you have a very small window of opportunity. So here's his telekinesis. I got caught in it. Now, you don't want to get caught in this attack. Not only does it take a little bit of health off, but if you get attacked, uh, he'll be doing double the amount of damage. Uh, so while that thing is on, like, above my head there, every one of his attacks does double the damage. So you can see how much that just did there. Um, when he does a move like that, you can either rush towards his head if you're close enough, or just roll backwards. It doesn't have that much of a of a range, but you don't want to get hit by it, and sometimes you can't outrun it to the left. You want to be close enough to his head that you can um, attack his head. When he flies straight upwards, he's going to breathe fire onto the ground, you just want to run away. So you see how he does a double attack there? So that's why you want to get to the left. He'll attack you, then do a second attack, and then you get a free hit. Um, and to me, that is the best opportunity. The stomps just get beside him, and then when he's done stomping, you can get on the side. Uh, then he, you can get an attack in. He does that where he rushes away from you, and then turns around and breathes fire. Um, basically, you want to have your shield up when that happens, and then you want to. What the fuck? How did he hit me there? And then you want to uh, just roll backwards. So you can see at the beginning here, it's it's not really. I'm making a lot of mistakes, but you know it does. It does get a little bit better. Um, this fight takes a lot of. It's just a lot of patience. So you see here how he did the breathing of the fire from my right to left. Uh, then you you can just rush towards him. And, and here what I did is I just went around instead of trying to roll through his legs. If you roll through his legs, if you're close enough that you can roll through his legs, you can usually get to his tail and attack it. Um, you only get a one attack in, mind you. Um, if you're not close enough, you might just want to go around and make sure you avoid the telekinesis. So you can see what I did there. I moved to the left, I blocked his first strike, got uh, blocked his second, or maybe it just didn't even hit me, and then I got a free attack in. And then the stomps, you just get away from him really just don't stay under him but make sure you go out from the side rather than his f the front or the back of him because you'll get hit by one of his feet generally so there's that free hit again so his two combo att uh, melee attack is really a great opportunity you just block it and then you uh, get a free attack in that is more like that is just one slash it's a strong one just block it so that's his, uh, his dash forward and then he breathes fire.
If you're close enough, you can rush. I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. And uh, If you're close enough, you can rush forward and attack his head. But if you're too far away, just and you don't think you can make it, don't bother, because if it hits you, it's not, it's not worth getting hit. Uh, it's a bit of a risk. Then you can just roll backwards instead. So again, this is, he breathes fire underground, just run away from it. Okay, so this attack here, now it didn't work in this video, uh, um, like it did in the previous attempts. What I was trying to get him to do, you see how I rolled twice in a row? Maybe the second roll isn't timed properly. But what I want to do is get directly behind him, about at the midpoint of his tail. Um, and then he should smash his tail on the ground. It, it was fairly consistent the three times I got his tail, but in this video it just didn't work. And I think most of the time it's either because I'm too close to his ass or too close to the tip of his tail. Uh, you want to be sort of in between and you don't want to do that second roll too quickly but just quick enough that you'll be aligned um, with him okay and then he should smack his tail on the ground and you roll out of the way and then you can get a free shot in that is the easiest way to get the tail um, it's also one of the easiest ways to get an attack in that attack there you can s it's very easy to dodge just roll to the side that attack, that's the one I tell you sometimes you can rush towards him or just... See, it doesn't have much of a range, so it's actually really easy to dodge. So... That was a really stupid move on his part, but unfortunately I missed him. Oh no, actually I hit him and then I... Then I got another attack in. Well, it, he's doing a really... Not exactly the best moves. I'm um, at that time. Here it is, the one where you just want to rush away instead of getting burned. The difficulty with him... I think I kicked... Oh, this is so stupid. Uh, the difficulty with him is he... Like, even if you get him to low health, he can still take you out in about two shots. That was really bad. And I think now it kind of... I start making mistakes because I realize it's almost he's almost dead. Uh, by the way, you know there's you can bait him into doing certain attacks. If you're at a distance from him, a midway distance, he'll and it's um, and behind you is basically there isn't like a wall or anything like that. Generally, not always he'll. Uh, do this swoop attack, okay? Um, when you're at this distance, if you roll straight at him, uh, he'll... He usually does either the telekinesis, he'll get on his hind legs and either do the, the, do the telekinesis or his, uh, f his fire attack. Um, both of which are on his hind legs. Or, yeah. Um, so he'll either do that or the telekinesis move. So sometimes I'd bait him. I, I baited him in the previous videos. I didn't do it so much here because it is a bit of a risk. Um, and he doesn't always do it. Sometimes he'll just do a melee attack. And if you're not quick enough to block or dodge, you're going to get killed. Interestingly there, he actually did the sweep. Uh, sort of swoop. Rather than the sweep. But again, I couldn't, I couldn't force him to get his tail onto the ground, which is odd. I don't know why it was uh, so inconsistent here. I could post a video on how to get the tail because I've kept all my previous attempts and I can basically do a compilation of um, his move set and like the the most the prime opportunities the ideal opportunities to attack his tail and how to bait him into getting it. So perhaps I'll do that if if people want it. It wouldn't it wouldn't take very much at all. Okay. So he's almost dead here. I don't really, there's not much else to say about him. You just have to be patient, have it, you know, if you're using a shield strategy, mostly keep your shield up. He does get rid of your stamina pretty quickly. Beware of the stomp. It's the stomp, for me anyway, that uh, was problematic when I'd f fight him like this. Initially I was playing at a distance and I'd kind of wait for him to do certain attacks. And here I, I changed strategy and I kind of 
would try to get on his left, well, on his right side, my left, from facing him. Yeah, well, his right side, which is my left. So left side, right on. Anyway, so he's not. As soon as you learn, well, like any boss, if you learn the move set, you'll be fine. Uh, you just have to be. You just have to be patient with him. And uh, don't do what I do and realize you're almost at the end of the fight and then start getting a little bit greedy with your hits. Because it's very easy to do, it's very easy to do so. So this is a bit of a It's a bit of a greedy shot, luckily he didn't punish me. For that. Actually, I think here I was trying to bait him to do the flying thing, because it's just... And instead, <laughs> he hits me and I didn't block it. So mistakes like that, just keep your shield up and you won't... You won't have to worry about anything. So one more hit and he'll be dead. That was really unfortunate. Um... But anyway... So here's my favorite one of his moves. This his really stupid combo attack. And um he's dead. I def I, Lord Fusslington, defeated uh Black Dragon Calamite, and you get the Calamity Ring. Uh I have Obsidian Greatsword written here, but I that's if you cut off the tail. Which I mean, it took me six attempts. It took me five attempts before I cut off the tail the first time around. Um, yeah, and I think those five attempts I was spending just trying to get the tail. So I was always baiting him to do certain moves, which is a bit, a bit risky, and you know, you just it's a really long fight. Titanite slab, fantastic. So you might want to just fight to get the tail. And, uh, although there were attempts where I nearly killed him and I had cut off the tail as well. I think two of the, the yeah, two subsequent attempts, it were, it was very close. Uh, and I also got the tail. So, I mean, you can incorporate it, it just didn't happen in this particular fight. Yeah, the problem with tails is there's just, there are just very few opportunities to get attacks in. Because even though the times where he sta he does stand on his hind legs, um, you have a very you have very little time to actually get to his tail, and maybe s uh, quicker weapons might. So there's the obsidian obsidian greatsword. Yeah. I got the other tail as well um, from uh, the lesser sanctuary guardians. I don't know if I'll show. And what I did there is I was basically just trying to kill one of them so I could deal with the other. Uh, but how I was doing it is I was using the the dragon, uh, what is it, the dragon slayer bow or whatever the fuck it's called. And I, and I was aiming in from the tunnel and I would just kind of clip the top of his tail and it ended up cutting it off. So <laughs> that's one way to do it, I suppose. Uh, I found with the Sanctuary Guardian... I mean, really, the only opportunity that I remember is when he does that sho shockwave uh, move, which is, if you saw the other video, that's when I would also attack him. But getting behind him is quite difficult, and his tail doesn't stay down very long, so you need a quick weapon, I think. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to post... Uh, if people want me to, I'll post videos on how to get the tails. But... It isn't, it isn't too difficult to do. It's just, it's just annoying, really. Um, it's just a lot of trial and error. You've got to keep practicing and trying to get it. Uh, in terms of Gao here, he'll give you the great bow, uh, his great bow, once you exhaust the dialogue. So as much as it, you know, there was a part edited out, basically. I don't know why it's edited out, but. You've got to talk to him several times before he'll give you his great bow. Um, and that's your reward for killing Calamite. Then, if you want his armor, you can get into a fight with him. I'm using both Pyromancy and Sword. 
and shield. The reason I use the pyromancy is because it's quick. I use the sword a little bit to just just to show you that it's entirely manageable. Um, he's slow. Again, you want to use if you're going to dodge his moves, just last minute dodging. Uh, he isn't difficult to dodge. He's not difficult to block. He's not a difficult enemy, but he hits quite hard if he manages to land a shot. If you're behind him, I think I got hit most of the time when I was behind him because he basically just falls backwards onto you. Um, I think w one of those times was... So he does that. I think one of those times was... Uh, it was when I was using... Chaos Storm, I think, actually. Well, there he landed the the hit, but I blocked it. I think both times that's what yeah that's what probably happened. But anyway, just uh, you don't want to dodge to the side because he tends to be able to lock onto you quite well, and he does he does hit you even if you're going sort of around. So in some ways he's like the uh, the Stone Guardians and the Royal Wood. You want to kind of back up more often than not. And if you can't get the dodge, and just make sure you um, block. So here I'm holding on to Chaos Storm. I think I was having a bit of fun at this point. So you don't really want. <laughs> so you don't really want to do that. Um, it's not exactly. So you see how that became a last-minute dodge. Yeah. This is stupid. Oh, I'm gonna get hit in the face again. Yeah. Well, he's dead. So that's that's great. And he gives you. Uh, well, he drops his armor. And he, I don't think I have anything else to say about the dragon. I mean, if you haven't beat him already, I'm sure you'll do fine. It's it is. You do need to be patient because he doesn't die easily. And he hits really hard, but he's entirely manageable. I found getting the tail to be difficult, um, but the fight itself, not as much. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about him. Uh, that is it for the downloadable content. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly rate, comment, and subscribe. I've been Lord Fussington. And the next video will either be an Assassin's Creed video, or I'll be returning to... Miserable Blighttown. Fantastic.